Well, the city is stepping up efforts to reopen, but first, that means getting thousands more New Yorkers tested for COVID-19. The city has announced people who are uninsured can now get tested at urgent care centers. CBS 2's John Diaz joins us now live from the City MD in Hell's Kitchen with more. Hey, John. Hey, good morning to you too, Chris. Well, by partnering up with CityMD, the city announcing that they have now tripled the number of testing sites available citywide. And New York City alone is doing half of the testing done across the state. A doctor in head-to-toe personal protection equipment was invited by Governor Andrew Cuomo to get very close during Sunday's televised briefing. Close your eyes. With his eyes shut, the governor calmly submitted to a coronavirus nasal swab test. That's it? That's it. Okay. Nothing else. That is the whole test. I'm not in pain. A media moment to encourage more New Yorkers to do the same. There is no reason why you should not get the test. The governor says New York is now completing 40,000 tests per day, and he wants that to increase. Newly qualified to step to the front of the line are workers in reopening phase one, mainly upstate construction, manufacturing, agriculture, and some retail workers. This city announcing coronavirus testing will be free of charge for uninsured New Yorkers at City MD urgent care locations. There are 123 of them in the area. In mid town at a work office manager Diana Chaveron is not experiencing any symptoms but was convinced to get both the nasal swab and the antibody tests. They recommend that that is better because then you know if everything's fine you know so I just want to make sure. Testing is necessary to improve tracing of the virus. New York plans on deploying newly trained tracers this week. 500 are finished with training and the goal is to have a total of 1,000 in the field by the end of this month. In the next literally two weeks, you're going to see a vast testing and tracing operation come alive like we've never seen before in the city, and this is just the beginning. Now, the latest numbers here in New York City show that more than 190,000 people have tested positive for COVID-19, and more than 20,000 people have died from the virus. That does include the 5,000 people that the Department of Health says probably had COVID-19, but were never tested. We're live this morning in Hell's Kitchen. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Okay, John, thanks.